Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. Papa, turn right 245, report localised established 27. For the 737 MAX series, the COVID-19 pandemic has severely slowed down original estimates and plans for returning the aircraft to service. In addition, at the same time, it has caused the aircraft type to no longer become the main topic when bringing up the aviation industry. Obviously, this is a welcome change for Boeing, and no doubt others, including myself, who were growing tired of hearing about it every single week, with it constantly being negative news. However, over the past 72 hours, the type has had a number of key updates released. Production for the series has been halted since the beginning of 2020. However, Boeing has indeed said in their latest Q1 releases that it's currently eyeing restarting production at low rate by year's end. This is 2020 for anyone that is watching this in the future. During 2021, they expect to increase monthly production rates to 31 per month. Since the groundings in March of 2019, Boeing did indeed continue to produce the aircraft type. However, in the end, with deliveries not being permitted, the series continued to stack up at Boeing facilities like that of Renton, with some being half-built, while others being fully built and awaiting delivery. Or even worse, many were awaiting crucial parts as supply chains were severely impacted by the grounding. For reference, Boeing was roughly building some 52 737 MAX aircraft per month prior to this whole crisis beginning. So to have a goal of 31 per month during 2021 is what I'd call nothing short of a good start. However, with news of this production restart, Southwest, an airline which operates as we know all Boeing 737s, has announced that while it still fully backs the return of the 737 MAX and more widely the series in general, it will indeed be slowing down deliveries of the aircraft series. Southwest was originally expected to welcome on well over 100 737 MAX aircraft by the end of 2021 that would join up with their already existing roughly 30 plus. However, these plans have been drastically adjusted, with the airline now looking at 59 aircraft less being delivered than its original goal of 100 plus. It is indeed worth noting that in this statement, the chief financial officer said they wanted to see at least 59 less aircraft delivered. This could of course be changing depending on how progress goes with the 737 MAX, which of course is going to be the next focus, getting it back in the skies. Thanks to an exclusive published by Reuters who had people close to the matter reveal information, the 737 MAX is expected to stay grounded until at least August of this year. Boeing had originally wanted to obtain the approval for the plane's return in the summer period of this year. However, with the type still not having achieved its first proper recertification flight since the grounding began, this will now be pushed back to the late summer period. However, the issue that remains is this could even be further delayed to potentially the October-November timeframe, which would put the jet, given the time it takes to return it to service across the world, grounded with some airlines for 24 months or more simply two years. An incredible time on the ground, given the nature of how new the aircraft is in comparison to, say, the 757 or even the 767. With that being said, thanks very much for watching.